Good afternoon, everybody. This is our five to five here at Auburn Alliance Church, and we have a special guest today, and that is Renee Parks, and she is a senior at Union Springs High School, which is my wife's alma mater. Wow. And, uh, and so this is a special moment for us to be able to interview her. And so this is a chance for us to, and for you all to get to know who Renee is. And, uh, and so we have some questions that we want to share, uh, we want to ask of Renee. Yeah, Renee, so what's life like for you in Union Springs during this quarantine period? How are you doing? Um, it's pretty boring. There's not much to do, but I'm doing a lot of schoolwork and just trying to be outside as much as I can and hang out with my brother a lot. All right, cool. That's good. That's great. Everybody in your family doing well? Yeah, we're all doing good. Nice. So you're a graduating senior, soon to be done with your high school career and move on to the next things. What are some of the things that you've accomplished during your high school career that you're most proud of? Well, most of them have been like related to like basketball and stuff. So in last year, I became the uh, all-time leading scorer for girls varsity basketball. And then this year, I was able to break a thousand points and just like continue to build on that. That that is just such a huge accomplishment for you in your life. I've always wanted to ask somebody who did something like that this question. So you get to be the person because you're the only person I know in person. Well, I have a question. Who's actually go ahead. I have All a right. question after you. So you're you're in the game where you're about to get a thousand points. First question. Do you know exactly how many points you have at this point? Um, when I broke a thousand points, I did. I knew that I had, when I started the game, I had five points until I broke it. Okay. But when, when I broke the record, I did not know. So that was a complete surprise. So you, you come into the game needing five points, right? Mm-hmm. So did you sink a basket? Was it a layup? Was it a? It was a three. I made a three at the very end of the first quarter. Okay, end of the first quarter, you make three. And now you're thinking in the back of your mind, two more to go? Well, the three was what put me over. I had, I don't know, probably a layup in the beginning of the quarter sometime. Okay. And then the three put me over the so 1,000. So did the crowd go crazy? Did they know? Yeah, everybody knew. Yep. <laughs> So again, that's just a huge accomplishment. Amazing that you were able to do that. Mm-hmm. So what position did you play? What was your position? I usually play like a shooting guard or like the two spot, but I could go pretty much anywhere that they need me to. Okay. And can you jump pretty high? Can you, can you dunk? No, I cannot dunk. <laughs> Have you tried? No, I would probably hurt myself. Okay. Cause I can dunk. I oh, say- I believe- <laughs> with the use of a mini tramp he's, <laughs> about, he's talking about the donut being dunked into no, the coffee no. and then eating the donut no i actually did a couple of years ago and the emphasis on the word couple um i actually did dunk with the use of a mini tramp but that was a long time ago so how <laughs> high was the mini tramp off the ground oh 10 feet, <laughs> 10 feet. <laughs> so you mentioned um you got some really good grades how well did you do academically in your in your high school career? Pretty well. I'm part of like the National Honor Society and I've taken a bunch of college classes and I've been able to take every single regents that they've ever written. Congratulations. That's cool. Thank you. So what's uh, your next step for you? Are you going off to college or are you going to take a year off, travel Europe? What, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going to go to SUNY Fredonia next year and study exercise science and I'm going to play basketball too. Oh, no surprise you'll be playing basketball. So tell me more about what exercise science looks like. So exercise science is like, it's kind of like athletic training, but it's like the four years that you have to take before you would go and get your master's for that. But I would like to become a strength and conditioning coach, and that would be not a master's program, but I would get get certified in it and take like a board exam for it 
And then would you want to work for a high school or a college or what, what's your target? I would like to work with like a college basketball team probably or a college team. So good for you. I, that's, that's pretty exciting for you to be able to see something that you love to do and you, you're really good at for you to be able to come to a place where you're helping others love that and be good at it yeah. too. We want to specifically pray for you. How could we pray for you, both uh, Pastor Jim and I, but also as a church? What are ways that we could come alongside you in prayer? Can you think of anything? Um, probably just like there's going to be a lot of decisions that I have to make. So I just want to be able to have a clear mind and be able to make the best decision that I can. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So what made you choose for Donia College? They first off had the program that I wanted, and I didn't want to go any higher than Division Three athletics because I just felt like Division Three was the right fit for me. So they were like they had the right um, academic program, but also the right athletic program. And I really liked the coach, and um, I went for a visit, and all the people were nice. It's a beautiful campus, and it just felt like right when I got there. But have you and your family been part of Auburn Alliance for many years? Um, I think that we came here when I was in eighth grade, so it'll be like five years. Okay. So are there things that Auburn Alliance has been, you know, really meant a lot to you during that time period? Mostly like the youth group. I really loved going there and it's been great. And I met like my best friend and it's just I've met so many people that I've like still talked to, even if they've like gone on and stuff. Nice. Oh, that's cool. When I started helping out with youth group, you were one of the first people that I met. And um, your your skills playing basketball or whatever it is close to basketball that we play at the end of the night because we don't have baskets and we don't have a full size uh, amazing or anything like that. Yeah. But you, I could definitely tell how competitive you were and how skilled you were athletically. So it was pretty cool. Thank it's you. All right. Well, we have things to pray for. We've heard some of the things you've been able to accomplish. We definitely are proud of you. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go with you in prayer and encouragement as you go to this next phase of your life. And look forward to seeing you when you're able to uh, come and visit when you're home from college. Thank you. Cool.